Chapter 9, Day 40, page 133. National apostasy will be followed by national ruin. When our nation in its legislative councils shall enact laws to bind the consciences of men in regard to their religious privileges, enforcing Sunday observance and bringing oppressive power to bear against those who keep the Seventh-day Adventist Sabbath, the law of God will, to all intents and purposes, be made void in our land, and national apostasy will be followed by national ruin. It is at the time of national apostasy, when acting on the policy of Satan, the rulers of the land will rank themselves on the side of the man of sin. It is then the measure of guilt is full. The national apostasy is a signal for national ruin. The Roman Catholic principles will be taken under the care and protection of the state. The national apostasy will speedily be followed by national ruin. Roman Catholic principles will be taken under the care and protection of the state. This national apostasy will speedily be followed by national ruin. Review and Herald, June 15, 1897. When the Protestant churches shall unite with the secular power to sustain a false religion for opposing which their ancestors endured the fiercest persecution, then will the papal Sabbath be enforced by the combined authority of church and state. There will be a national apostasy which will end only in national ruin. When the state shall use its power to enforce the decrees and sustain the institutions of the church, then will Protestant America have formed an image to the papacy and there will be a national apostasy which will end only in national rule. 1910 Universal Sunday Legislation The history will be repeated false religions will be exalted the first day of the week a common working day possessing no sanctity whatever will be set up as the image of babylon all nations and tongues and peoples will be commanded to worship the spurious sabbath the decree enforcing the worship of this day is to go forth to all the world as America, the land of religious liberty, shall unite with the papacy in forcing the conscience and compelling men to honour the false Sabbath, the people of every country on the globe will be led to follow her example. The Sabbath question is to be the issue of the great final conflict in which all the world will act a part. Foreign nations will follow the example of the United States, Though she leads out, yet the same crisis will come upon our people in all parts of the world. The substitution of the false for the true is the last act in the drama. When the substitution becomes universal, God will reveal himself. When the laws of men are exalted above the laws of God, when the powers of this earth try to force men to keep the first day of the week, Know that the time has come for God to work. The substitution of the laws of men for the law of God, the exaltation by merely human authority of Sunday in place of the Bible Sabbath, is the last act in the drama. When the substitution becomes universal, God will reveal himself. He will arise in his majesty and shake terribly the earth. The whole world will support Sunday legislation. The wicked declared that they had the truth, that miracles were among them, that the angels from heaven talked with them and walked with them, that great power and signs and wonders were performed among them, and that this is the temporal millennium that they had been expecting for so long. The whole world was converted and in harmony with the Sunday law. The whole world will be stirred with enmity against Seventh-day Adventists because they will not yield homage to the papacy by honouring Sunday, the institution of this anti-Christian power. Those who trample upon God's law make human laws which they will for 
force people to accept. Men will devise and counsel a plan what they will do. The whole world keeps Sunday, they say, and why should not this people, who are so few in number, do according to the laws of the land?